Alright, what we're planning to do is take this brand new pod and I'm going to make a line down here and down here all the way around it. We're going to have a D shape here. We're going to make this so that we're going to cut this with a Dremel. We're going to cut it in at a 45 degree angle so that this piece will pull into this one when we get done. <clears throat> we got to mark all the way around where we want it to be cut and then we're going to take a Dremel and we're going to cut it. And then we're going to clip it back, to, clip it back together with uh, spring clips on the inside <coughs> here, here, and down on the bottom on the inside. So we'll have four clips holding it back. Also, the nose cone is just like the other one was. We have a hole here where the pitot tube comes out, and that's where we put the, the nut on here to hold it all back together as well. So <coughs> right now I'm just masking up here to give me, this is my alignment part that will keep it so when it goes on it self aligns and now I've got to measure on the side where I want the cut to go down and uh, then we're going to take the Dremel we'll cut it around and I'll take pictures to go along with the video and just kind of describing what we're going to do here so you get some kind of an idea here we have we've cut it all the way around in our shape now I've cut these pieces here you notice I've notched these these are going to be going on the inside of this piece to sandwich over the two this will be glued on here this will be glued on down here and the idea of these slotted holes is we're going to do it with fiberglass we're going to coat this with fiberglass resin we're going to coat this with fiberglass resin, let it come up through these, through these holes, and we're going to put cloth over it when we're done, so it'll bond the two together through these holes. We'll probably widen them out just a little bit more, but these will act as the retainers to go onto the side. So when we get done, this piece will be in, this will be in, it'll be all the way around, everywhere. So that'll make the two slide together right. So this piece we want to laminate to this, we want to not bond it to this so that that can slide on and off. Panels, lightly sanding them, cutting these notches. The notches are then going to be fiberglassed, you can see here, to the body of this panel. This one again will be up here when you're done. Pulling them on with clamps. We'll be fiberglassing them in, cutting them to fit. And then, uh, then what we're going to do when we get done doing this and getting these fiberglass into place is we're going to put a layer of cloth on the inside all the way lapping up to here to reinforce it on there so it will also bond through these notch holes. So that is what we're doing. we did was we mounted this piece back on the airplane, put it on with Clecos, put this piece on, positioned it, positioned this until everything came out looking like it was melding pretty good. Then what I did was put Bondo in between the two where the gap was to fill the gap in all the way around. And now what we're doing is I brought it home, took it back off. We're going to be sanding it all down, getting all the holes that I drilled they didn't come out right, cut it up, so we're going to redo them. Um, we're also going to be putting on the inside, let me get 
give you a good picture of the way this thing is looking now. It's looking pretty good. It's all glued back together because we're going to finish sand all this and get it so you can't see the seam line. At least that's the, the plan is to have the seam so, so fine and so melded that you won't be able to see it when it's on painted. Now we're going to install these clips. These clips are going to be going on these plates. This will uh, mount here. This will mount in here on this metal trim. Like right in here, we'll put one right there. Like that. We'll have four of them. We'll have two on the bottom, one on each side, and we'll have on the top on each side. And these pieces here are going to be on the inside for this to clip to. This will be on this piece right here. We will mount this first one right here and then we're going to mount this piece here onto this. Now these pieces we're going to do like we did on the trim on the inside. We're going to put notch holes or a couple of, of uh, drill holes so that when we fiberglass, you see all these little notches we did before, the fiberglass goes down through, cloth goes over the top, and it bonds it together like a fiberglass rivet. So we're going to do the same thing with these plates so that when we get done, this will be on the inside of the air, air uh, the nose cone on the removable part this will go on the part that will stay on the airplane and it's spring loaded the rivets go underneath here so this will be riveted and then it'll clip onto these which will be riveted to these these will be free floating on this end and only this end of it down here will actually be fiberglassed on so it'll be pulling the two together Now this is to meld the two together so that they'll come together in a nice even seam. We're going to have to do this in several hours. 